Hi friends, it's Rachel from Scrappy Happy here on YouTube. I also go by the same name over on Instagram. I'm a paper crafter, mom, and auntie, and this project um, was with my auntie mind um, today. So way back before when we knew whether Halloween was going to happen or not here in my hometown, we're still waiting to make sure everything's okay and it's safe for the kids, but for right now it seems it's gonna be okay. I had an idea to make this little market stall for my niece and nephew for um, Halloween with a few little Halloween goodies. And so uh, I started making the stall and um, this is a, so called a market stall. It's an SVG from the Silhouette Design Store. Now I have a Cricut. I actually paid for the file on a 50% off sale because the 3D projects are quite a bit more than um, regular files, but so worth it. And then I um, uploaded it into Cricut Design Space and cut it out there. So all the paper used for this project, all the pattern paper came from a Michaels paper pack um, from last year's Hot Buy collection. All the paper I found that they had in Michaels this year wasn't that great so I just stuck with what I had because I have a ton of stuff to, to work with and play with and so I started making the market stall and so the file itself doesn't come with these teacups so the file itself just has this canopy the shelf and these two little baskets which is what I have all the the goodies in I just don't want to wreck anything as I pull it out and as I say that I just realized that I need to touch up the glue at the tab so this is actually very easy to uh, put together um, my suggestion though when you're making this project is to make this out of two pieces of really heavy construction paper on both sides to give it durability and then I used a piece of pattern paper to decorate the sides and it's just as you can see like a mummy theme and so um, that would be my suggestion and then the one little other tip that I learned from Louisa from um, my crafty boutique is inside it's very subtle you can't see it very well but I used um, skewer sticks and it's holding up the canopy just to give it a little bit more um, dimension so this doesn't sag as much and uh, that just helps with the construction. So you can see these baskets. There's two of them that come with the file. And you know, that's what's kind of, sort of neat about this file. You could even just cut out these baskets by themselves and use it for a, a summer project. So I put the sticker on there. Again, all this stuff was from my stash. So inside it fits a whole bunch of goodies. So I'm gonna actually just take all these items out as the chocolate rolls on the floor. And before I load it up, I'm gonna just stick it back in there. Now, because it's for my niece and nephew, and I wanna make sure I'm treating them both the same, they both have the exact same treats in there. So the first, all this, a lot of this stuff for the treats did come from the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. This here is um, a Frankenstein craft. And then on top of that, I have these cute little puffy stickers that they can use for things and then this is that foam stuff that um, is shaped in a goat looks like a ghost that um, is sometimes better and less messy um, compared to, uh, rather than play-doh and then I put these little squishies and I bought those from the dollar store and put those in and then I have some slime my sister's gonna love me for the slime but hey isn't that what aunties are supposed to do um buy those <laughs> things that um, mummies don't want to have and then this is just that um putty so lots of sensory play here um, things and then these are just those fun little plastic rings from the dollar store that i thought go in there nice as a decoration I like to put those so you can actually see them. The spider fell down. And then just a few little um, chocolates. So as I said, both of those are the same. And then I was making this project and I was just gonna leave it like this. And then I discovered that these cups 
which I made also in a fall theme, which will you'll be featured in another video, was um, for Christians, Christians, Christ, um, from Christians Crafty Adventure, uh, her PHA Cup of Kindness. So this cup I had in a fall theme, and I was just sitting there, I'm like, oh, I wonder if this cup's going to fit on this shelf. Uh, again, it's another SVG file from the Silhouette Design Store that I bought to purchase with my Cricut. I believe this is a Lori Whitlock file. And this fits perfectly on the market stall. And it's just like cups of kindness blinged out 10 times because it's now a market stall um, cup of kindness. So it holds about four little chocolate treats um, in the cup. And now this looks kind of almost like a little coffee shop now. Um, and so it is so much fun with all these goodies in there. So everything in terms of the bats and this are all different things that came from my stash. This was from the Dollar Tree and I don't know if you noticed, but in the back here, I don't know if you can see, maybe I'll try zooming in. Um, these are felt spiders webs that I purchased at Tuesday morning last year. I've um, cut the, I uh, glued those onto the back because there's a quite a big window on the back there so you can see it from the front. And then that is just a um, spider ring from the Dollar Tree that I cut and put on the spider web. And I have one on both sides of the marker stall just for symmetry. Um, it's a subtle touch that you don't notice until you take the cups off. But again, sometimes these things that you make aren't always just for the person or the recipient that you are making it for. You are also doing it for that fun creativity of yourself. So this um, is a really fun project. Um, I hope it inspires you to make something like it. I think this would look really cute um, as a Christmas theme. Um, you could make it all into like a little hot cocoa bar or something and it would make a really nice maybe teacher gift or neighbor gift. Um, so many different possibilities of how to um, make this and you wrap it all up which I think I'm going to do with cellophane and then tie it and then put boo on it and I just think my niece and nephew are going to love it. And I do plan on making one more of these for my son and daughter to share, but I really wanted to get this one done first um, so we can do the get booed this weekend. So I hope you really enjoyed watching this tutorial, um, pro um, project share of my Halloween market stall. Thanks for joining me for this project. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow me here on YouTube and over on Instagram. I read every little comment um, that everybody posts and I just love sharing with this crafty community. Thank you so much for joining me of this episode of Let's Get Crafty and Happy Halloween!